It's a good, boring building. It's monotonous. It's plain. It's plain, dear. I'm not sure how to describe this plain. It's a piece of giant magnet, man. I can't help that. No matter what I do, the hairs keep coming back. It's so massive, I don't even have to turn around. I can just look at the monitor there and be like, look at that. Lots of rotation to do. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Check it out. Yeah, if you're a fan of modulars like I am, I'm actually so psychotic about modular building that I went to other brands to find whatever I could, thinking that they're original. Some were stolen, some weren't. Some were originals. What do you see here? This one is actually original. And if you don't know, it's from a brand called Oxford Block. And even better, it's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Now, if you haven't seen my blog a couple of weeks ago, the stock is physically here in the office. It's available. It's ready to be shipped or sent out if you do want to buy it, if you can find it, if it's too expensive. It is kind of on the pricier side. Look, it's massive. I think this is Oxford Blocks or one of their biggest sets. This thing is massive. What do I think? Let's jump into it. Let's check it out. So this is Oxford Block's Mr. Sunshine Glory Hotel. BM35225. 2,783 pieces. So in case you're wondering and you don't know, this is actually based on a TV series in South Korea called Mr. Sunshine. I have no idea what it's about. I've never seen the show before. I just saw this building and went, I had to get this. I have to get it. I don't care how much it was. I don't even care about the characters. This is definitely gonna be a hit or miss with some of you because there's not much information even though it's brand new. They only show the shell like you're seeing here. But it is my duty and my job to show you guys what I think about it. Let me just rotate this for you guys so you guys can see for yourself and you let me know what you think. Yeah, what are you thinking, huh? Oh, look at the back there. First impressions of seeing this? Repetitive. Yeah, it is a pretty repetitive build, especially the windows, man. Those windows, Take some time to make. But once you know how to do it, it's actually pretty fast. It's not too bad. And those corners, man, talk about repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. The overall look is actually pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, that is so neat. So just so you know, this is the plot of Mr. Sunshine. During the United States expedition to Joseon, I'm not sure if I said that right, South Korea, in 1871, a boy from Joseon boards an American warship and goes to America. As an adult, he returns to his home country as an American soldier stationed in the country. And it probably ensues like so much drama with the cultural change and all that kind of stuff. But that's what the TV show is about. And this must be part of the set, right? It has to be. So if you like that vintage look, definitely. This is based in the 1800s, right? So it's an older style look. It's pretty cool, man. I actually really, really love the look of the whole thing in general. I like the spacing, the depth. Look at that, it's massive. But to be brutally, brutally honest, there really isn't like anything spectacular about it other than the color looks really good and the layout actually looks like a real building. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's because it's so real. I don't wanna say it's like realistic, but it's so real, it kind of looks almost boring, but it's kind of a good boring. Is there a word for that? It's good boring. It's a good boring building. So let's check out this boring hotel. I mean, sorry, glory hotel. Along the front here, you got a couple windows. And down here, you got this window here that is curved shape. We've seen that in a bunch of other sets like this one. Remember our one gate coffee shop? At least this one is secure and it's tight in there. There is a little bit of a gap there on top though, but at least it kind of makes us feel a little bit fresher and different from the other areas of the building. It's the same windows on all four sides. You know, they're actually pretty flimsy to put in there. Just so you know, when you're building it down up, it does get a little bit flimsy. Once you're in, it's pretty secure. Man, this thing really does collect a lot of dog hair. It's collecting all my dog hair and dust already. That is crazy. It's like a magnet. And look at the corners here, man. These corners actually took forever to do. Once you do like 10 of them, then you know how to do the rest of them. And it's actually really interesting how they Put that together and i'll show that to you in a second i do like this little porch area it's all tiled there that is so cool it's actually quite hard to get your fingers in there to open the door because it's underneath the porch this little staircase going down nice and tiled unfortunately on the edges here there's nothing there there's no plant life there's no little decoration there's only one little sign there but um, i guess you can just decorate that on your own and speaking of decoration if you love doing interiors you're gonna love this one for sure yeah just wait just wait for it. And above the door, you got the two flags there, the Korean flag and American flag. I do like on the side there that I actually put another little porch there, another door to go inside to the house. 
that's really good. And more windows there. And again, you saw the back here, lots of windows, pretty plain to be honest with you. I wish they could have done a little bit more with that or just made it a little bit different. But hey, if you're a fan of the show, I guess you're just basing this building on the show. There's no entrance here, there's just more windows, but at least it protrudes and sticks out and you have a little balcony there. And speaking of balcony, you might as well look at the second floor on the outside. See what I mean, guys? It's actually really repetitive, but it looks good. It's just repetitive. Got a little bit of different windows here. It looks like they have blinds there. Same goes for the other side above this porch and even on this other side. Oh, I gotta rotate this thing. It's taking forever to rotate. And on here too, why is this balcony not tiled? What are you guys doing, man? I'm supposed to tile it. It does have this little sign here on the outside. Thank goodness they have something there that says Glory Hotel on both sides. Both of them are prints. At least there's prints. The flags are not, by the way. The flags are stickers, just so you know. And then we come up here to the rooftop. Those are a lot of green, dark pieces, man. But they're very easy to put inside. And then you come to the roof here and the roofing, unfortunately, is a little bit flimsy. And look at all the little rails here. But this, for you decorators and you architecturists and you Lego mockers, there's a lot of room to do stuff up here, man. A lot. You can probably build more on top of this thing, make it huge if you can afford it. Cool that they have the open space here, but at the same time, bummer. They didn't put like a little fence here or old school, I don't know, playground or a staircase to go up here. And speaking of staircases, it's time to look inside, are you ready? So the top does come off. It's a little bit tricky to pull it off. It kind of pulls other tiles off, but they do kind of make it like you can go in there and take a look at the inside. I'll try to pull this off for you guys like that. Yeah, here we go. Oh, let's get this off. There we go. There we go. Okay, like I said, rooftop is a little bit flimsy, so you have to be careful when you build that. That's what the bottom of it looks like there. Can you see? Yeah, nothing special. And you ready? Drum roll for the inside. The most beautiful interior you'll ever, ever see. Are you ready for this? You ready? Oh, I would love to see the look on your faces right now when you see this. Some of you are going, oh, shit. And some of you have a big smile on your face going, decoration, interior, I could make this my own. And then you're thinking, well, wait a minute, there's no second floor either. That's right, you gotta make your own second floor. Can you? I don't think it's too difficult. The two square pieces that you see inside there are just supporting the plates on the bottom. It's actually pretty supported like this. You can carry it around. When you're first building it though, on the first floor, you can't pick it up. It'll just like fall apart. So make sure you, if you do build it, build it in one spot, get the first floor going until you get to the second row windows and it'll be a lot more secure and it's not gonna fall out or anything like that. But look, that's it. It's the end of the video already. There's nothing inside of this thing. I can go in there and reach. There's plenty of room. Look at that. Hello, anybody home? You gotta remember, this is based on a TV show. So it's probably for the fans of the show itself. They probably don't really care about the inside as much, I'm guessing. And you just push down on here. Oh, I heard something fall down inside. So a piece probably fell off from the backside of this roof. I'll have to fix that later for you guys. We're done with this review because there's nothing inside to show you guys. It does come with minifigures and it does have a vehicle. So while your mind's still thinking about the set, let's take a look at those. This is actually pretty cool. This is like a vintage looking Rolls. Is it like a Rolls Royce? Yeah. No, I, I suck with cars, man. So you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or right. Rolls really good. Rolls. Roy, get it, it rolls. I actually really like the car. I think it's pretty cool. It has two doors there. They open up just fine. You got a steering wheel inside. And that is so funny. It's not really like a steering wheel piece. It's, I don't know what piece that is. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You can take off the top here, but there's no seats inside. You can fit one mini cigar to drive the car and maybe one more behind it. We'll try and see if we can fit some guys inside. But overall, it is a sturdy car and I do like it. I like the design here on the th that goes over the front wheel, this part, the bumper piece, and the back has a spare tire. That is the car that comes with the Glory Hotel. I guess you could put it here. It won't fit under the sign though. Or like here, you know, like that. How's that look? Welcome to the Glory Hotel. And here are the minifigures that are going to check in. They're actually pretty cool. And of course, obviously based on the characters on the movie, so I'm gonna guess who these characters are based on Wikipedia. First one up is this guy in black. He's like a samurai guy. I actually comes with a samurai sword. I like his beard, man. It's pretty cool. And this is 
Gu Dong Mei, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. It's a fictional name, huh? It's played by Yu Yun Sok. Would any Koreans out there like to clarify these minifigures with me? But there you go, he's actually pretty cool. He's just like a piece of block. That's really weird, it's no legs. I've never seen that before. Is that a first? Then you got this girl who's dressed up in a Korean traditional outfit. It's like a piece of fabric, it's already on her when I arrived. It looks cool, she looks fine. And I'm guessing this is Kudo Hina, played by Kim Min Jong. Not too sure. She's cool, underneath it's just plain yellow and green. I like the outfit pattern design, that's pretty neat. Then you got this guy who's got the similar beard like the other guy, and oh, actually, Deer's copying this face. Yeah, I can tell by little hairs above his mouth, the, the mustache, that's a really weird mustache, man. And he's all dressed up, nice, to, ready to go out, do something party, high class kind of looking guy. And I'm pretty sure he is Kim Hee Sun, played by Byun Buyun, is it Buyun Ho? Buyun Yo Han. There you go, cool. I think this guy is Choi Yu Jin, played by Lee Buyon Han. I could be mistaken, man. I like his suspenders and he looks pretty normal to me. Not too bad. And finally got this lady who I probably got mixed up with the other lady, but she's also like this one block thing. That is such a weird look. But anyway, that I think is Ko A Shin. Ko A Shin, did I say that right? Who is played by Kim Tai Ri. Man. I don't know if I'm getting those right or not. It's dimension times, but you know the set is so big. It's way bigger than a 32 by 32 base plate because it's actually using six plates that are 20 by 20. So if I put it here, you already know that it is 40 studs by width and by length, you're looking at 60. Wow. So you have to use one, two, for your visual representation, let's look at the height. Take out your own 1x4 bricks and stack them up with a height of 20. And it's actually just there. If I put it into the base plate, yeah, that's how high it is. Not too high, actually. But there you go. Let's see if this belongs in your city. And just for record's sake and for reference for the dimensions of the car, if I use a 32 by 32 base plate and kind of guess the car where the bumper is from back to front, is about 15 studs. Yeah, I guess around there. And for the height, you're looking at about six bricks in height. It's just over it, look at that. Just barely, look, you go right through it. Yay. So the details of this building, just so you guys can see, I'm gonna try to pry some of this off. I know, I feel like this is the wrong thing to do, man. The set is kind of unique because it uses this. Can you guys see that? So it's one by one, I guess, but it has the brick pattern on there. Does Lego have those? Like, I'm not sure but you'll need those if you want the pattern of the brick look to come out. And then finally, the corner piece that I was talking about here, it's one of these pieces, if you can see my hand, it's a little Technic piece that goes inside there, and you just put this little gray piece on here, then you just double it up on, so you're gonna be doing this quite a lot, by the way, so you double it there, and you gotta make about a few hundred of these. Oh yes, and on the back here, along the bottom, those are the wrong pieces. I was like, oh man, they gave me the wrong pieces or I didn't have enough there, and I found out the pieces actually did show up later on the inside here. The top was actually for the bottom, so if you're missing pieces, just hang in there because there's only two bags, bag one and bag two, and you still gotta sort all the bags. Your other pieces might be in the other bag, just so you know, yeah? So there you guys go, as big as it seems, there's not a whole lot going on, but if you love to do your own interiors, this is actually pretty perfect for that. Some of you are gonna be disappointed that there is no interior inside. Overall, I think it looks stunning on the outside, very repetitive, and I think that's because it does just look like a building. Bad thing is, no interiors. I really do love interiors. I wish this one had one, but from feedback from you guys, I know a lot of you guys don't mind that, so there you go. Mr. Sunshine's glorious MT boring, plain, beautiful looking hotel available on brickmeupscotty.com. So until next time, you guys, break me out. Hello, is anybody home? It's quite comfortable in here. Why don't we just try this? Let's take this off again. Tish, this is the Oxford Blocks sausage if you haven't seen that video. Look, it fits right inside. Yeah, look at that. Hey, hey, check it out, now we have a kitchen. First room is done. Oh, I feel like putting a Lego shop inside here. Put the carousel on top of the Lego store. And look, this is some Inception stuff going on. We'll put Emmett's house inside. 
Uh, let's fit another Lego VIP shop inside here. This is becoming the coolest mock I've ever done. And we'll top it off with a dinosaur from GSTAR. Look at that. Now that's what you call an all-in-one. You fit a lot of stuff in here. Makes a good storage bin, yeah? Put all your sets in here and carry it around. It's not bad. Hey, what's happening? Why are we stopping? I can't hold it, man. I gotta go to the toilet really bad. I'm gonna pee in my pants. Hey, yay, yay. All right, make it fast, then. I'm getting tired of being pulled on this hook. Hello, is anybody home? I gotta go pee so bad. Hello? What the heck is this? There's nothing inside here. Oh man, what do I do? What do I do? I can't hold it anymore. Uh, oh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna run here in this corner. I'm gonna pee right here. No one can see me. Ah. Wow. Oh, I like this outfit. It has a ninja sword. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna strip down and wear this right now. This is more like it. I sense great power and responsibility. This will protect me from that crazy thing. Oh, oh, I gotta stretch my legs too. Man, your friend's taking a long time inside. Yeah, he always takes forever in the toilet. Oh, look at this car. That thing looks like a piece of junk compared to mine. I might as well check it out inside. Now hold that roof for me for a second, will you? What the hell? How come I have to carry everything on my back? This is the weakest steering wheel I've ever seen. And there's no back for the chair. At least I can fit inside. Whoa, that's pretty crazy looking, man. We're changing cars or what? Heck no. Just wanted to try this out. Hey, Scotty, what's up with your legs? Where are they? It's, it's a new style, man. It's a dress. It's a new trend. What are you doing? Dude, I found this outfit. This is so amazing. And a ninja sword. Dear, we're all set to fight back. But I gotta stash these old clothes somewhere, so I just might as well put it in here. Anyway, it fits. Well, it sort of fit once you put the top on. Can't really fit inside unless it lies down. Guys, we've been staring at this car for too long. It's time to get out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go again. All right, let's get out of here. 